everybody, and welcome to Ladies of Another View on Back. I'm joined today with Amy and Lori and Mary. Hello. And Full I'm deck Patty. today. Yeah. I know. I know. We, do, we used to be together all the time, and now it's a once in a blue moon I feel thing, like but. you broke up with me, and we're getting back together. Yeah. It's the reunion tour. <laughs> <laughs> we don't listen to the tabloids. We do get along. Nothing, <laughs> nothing going on there. Yep, we always get along, enjoy each other. Um, today is going to be a full show of us just talking. You know, we so often have guests, and, and we love having guests, of course, but um, there's so much to talk about, and we always have so much to say. So we're going to, uh, later in the show, we're going to ask, where is Anthony Fauci? We're going to talk about Biden's plan for his Supreme Court nominee. And um, I want to start out with, though, Florida has an interesting bill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. They have a good bill. Yes. yes. And you wouldn't even believe, like, why would you even need a bill like this to begin with? It's called the Parental Rights Bill, and it's not teaching sex education for children in kindergarten through third grade. Third but, grade. Oh. Like, mm -hmm. hello? They, did no. you ever go to school? Like, we didn't, we don't need to talk to, about sex with those kids. No. Um, but guess what? There's some people angry about it, and they're calling it the Don't Say Gay Bill. Uh, let's Which watch is still this, okay. Let's watch this videotape. <laughs> and, yes, absolutely. And we'll, we'll talk after we watch this video. Over 200 people gathering outside Disney calling for action. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation holding two rallies, one in Florida and the other in California. The goal, call on Disney to speak out against the parental rights and education bill, or as critics call it, the Don't Say Gay bill. Kids need a safe space to discuss issues that, are, that they're going through. And if for whatever reason they don't feel safe talking to their parents, they need to be able to turn to a trusted teacher. The bill has already passed the state house. It aims to prohibit classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity primarily for grades K through third grade. It forbids districts from implementing any policies requiring school personnel to withhold any information from a parent about their child's mental, emotional, or physical health. But the bill does allow for certain exemptions. As State Senator Dennis Baxley, who wrote the bill in a statement, says, it is hard to understand how this bill has been so misunderstood. All we are trying to do is empower parents to take responsibility and get to decide what is age-appropriate content for their children. Okay, ladies, what do you think? Oh, I just got chill bumps because I'm like, I feel the fire coming up on this issue, <laughs> having a fourth grader myself. Yeah, they are... It, it, what in the world? I have too much to say. I don't know what to say. <sighs> it's, because it's sickening. It is it's sickening. sickening. Well, like, oh, why would is. you even need this bill to begin with? And the press secretary of Governor DeSantis, Peshaw, said um, that if you are in favor of this, that this could lead to, um, what do you call it? Um, grooming. Grooming. Yeah. Grooming because you're talking to children about sex. And so the LBGT community is like, oh, my gosh, look what she's saying. And in reality, the, you know, these kids, they're not thinking about sex. They haven't hit adolescent. Leave them alone. Leave well, them to their parents. But they are. And that's one thing that I find interesting, that they are targeting Disney. Because Disney is very much sexualizing their cartoons with same-sex parents on the cartoons, with superheroes that are, you know, transgender. Um, and kids are bombarded from an early age with every innocent little app or YouTube video or TV show and they're starting to wonder, you know, just because you don't have a crush on a boy, does that mean that you are um, bisexual? Or just because you love your friend that sits next to you in class, does that make you a lesbian? Like these are questions that kids in these grade levels are having because they are being bombarded. So it doesn't, you know, we keep, I guess, if you really want to get to the bones of it, you're keeping religion out of school, you need to keep sex out of school. You need to keep religion and sex at home for the parents to decide. I mean, it is a parental rights bill, yeah. which, I mean, kids can bring it to their teacher's attention, but that's what they have counselors in school. Teachers aren't counselors. They, they, can, they can't be talking about kids as uh, if they think one way or another they're not counselors, they're teachers, they're supposed to be educating their kids. And there's a boundary on sex, parental rights is up to the parents. And I, when they say kindergarten through third grade, I think it should go the whole 
oh, high school. Yes. Through high school. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't be left up to the school. The well, teachers know. And I think it's like what I worried about when I was in kindergarten is what, why my friend had like sharpener on her color box and I didn't. <laughs> I only had 16 crayons to yes. choose from and she had 64. That's what I worried about. Right. But anyway, I think back to Disney World. I have a nephew who actually worked for Disney World and he said, you are considered gay unless proven straight. So there is a lot of, a lot of the cast is gay. A lot of the employees are mm -hmm. gay. And so that is a good place for these types of people to go ahead and try to garner sponsorship, to get Disney to get on board with them and make everybody else who is what we would consider the average American that we're the outsider per se, that we're not accepting because we're not gay, all right? And I don't know what other way to put it because I don't want to offend anybody and I shouldn't be that way, but you know, third grade, kindergarten, that's not where we talk about if we're a boy or a girl. We know if we're a boy or a girl. We don't need anyone teaching us differently. Like, well, you might be, a, you, you know, your feelings mean something and you, you might be a boy, even though you we were born a girl. And so that's not where it belongs. It belongs at home. And what we're finding across the country is there are some parents suing teachers. One girl was suicidal because her parents encouraged her and convinced her, well, maybe you are a boy, you do like video games, and she wasn't even thinking that way, but they got her thinking that way. And Amy, you talk about the agenda with mm -hmm. the commercials and all the Disney stuff. Um, that's the problem. If they bring it up in school, there's gonna be an agenda attached to it. Right. It isn't gonna be, well, you're all born male and female, and if you're having other feelings, well, you know, they might be confused. They're not going to tell them that. That's not what happens in schools. Because if it does, you could lose your job, right? right. And just to make everybody clear why they're protesting in front of Disney, because they wanted Disney to step out and fight against this. They wanted to lobby against it. And they figured, well, we are who we are. Everybody knows what we're about. We don't need to do that. But so this is all about activism. This is about forcing agendas. And they wanted... They wanted Disney to jump on their bandwagon and call this the Don't Say mm -hmm. Gay Bill. And they, they wanted to call it prejudice, that it's an attack on them. And it's not. It's clearly not. Is, it's, is Disney becoming the gayest place on earth instead of the happiest place on earth? I mean, <laughs> well, gay well, they didn't used to mean happy. It does. And so so technically, I don't know who took the word away. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's just, it's too much. I mean, in, in second grade or first grade, um, a kid wants to be a truck. It doesn't mean that he's trans automotive. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, my son is probably going to kill me, but he asked one time when I was painting my daughter's nails, mom, can I wear fingernail polish? It was a genuine question. If I was a liberal mom, he would say, I would say he wants to be a girl. I just simply said, no, boys can't wear fingernail polish. And that was the end of the discussion.